the Department of Personnel and Training, DUPT, successfully implemented the Honorable Prime Minister's vision for induction training program for cutting-edge level government functionaries. To take this a step further, DUPT with the guidance of Secretary, P, has come up with the initiative of blended training program called, Comprehensive Online Modified Modules for Induction Training, COMMIT. This video is only a part of COMMIT program conducted by the Department of Personnel and Training, DUPT, for government employees. Some of the course material I felt is so important and informative that I thought I must share this with you and sharing this only meant for education and knowledge purpose. There is no any other intention lies behind sharing it. I would have shared every unit of the modules as they were so informative, knowledge oriented and interesting but I cannot. Because these course materials are designed to train government staff and I am not authorized to do it. Whatever few videos I published is only for the sake of knowledge and its importance. At the end, I would like to say that any person working under DUPT or directly involved and own the COMMIT program find it not suitable may contact me with your details and I shall remove it immediately. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the unit on Define the Problem. Often, what we believe is a problem may not be the problem. For example, try and solve this problem. As you can see, this image has been made using 20 math sticks. Can you remove 7 math sticks and make 9? If you are not able to solve this, click Show Solution to view the answer. If you have solved the problem, excellent! You saw through the real problem that was posed. If you haven't solved the problem, don't worry. Most problems do not see the real problem. This question needs you to make 9. Since the question has started with numbers and digits, 20 math sticks and remove 7, most people try to get 9. So, they give up saying 20 minus 7 is 13 and we can never get 9. You can now see how easy it was to get 9. If this was tricky, real world problems are likely to be trickier. So, how do you ensure that you know what the real problem at work is? At the end of this unit, you will be able to define a problem. One way to understand a real problem is being able to describe the problem completely. You may use the tool called is is not matrix to describe a problem completely. In the case of is is not matrix, you ask questions such as what is the problem and immediately ask what is not the problem. Once you get this contrast, you will be able to describe your problem better. Next you ask where is the problem and where is not the problem. This contrast will help you describe any geographical aspects of the problem. After you understand where is the problem or where is not the problem, you ask when is the problem and when is not the problem. This contrast helps you identify any seasonal variations in the problem. Finally, you ask who is the problem and who is not the problem. This contrast gives you an idea as to who may be causing the problem. It may also be helpful to ask who is affected by the problem and who is not affected by the problem. This will add more to your understanding of the problem. This contrast technique gives you better insights into a problem. It also allows you to describe the problem in a more structured and detailed manner. Let us consider the example of a common problem faced in the Swatch Bharat mission. Note that this is an illustration or indicative problem and may not be applicable in your state. Even after building many toilets, why do people still defecate in the open? If we use the is is not matrix, it might give us some insights. Please click on the elements of the template to get a full description of the problem. The problem is that people continue to defecate in the open despite intense efforts from the administration. Enough toilets have been constructed in the panchayat. 
Most houses have a toilet and some common toilets too have been constructed. Enough water is also available. The conclusion is that the basic problem is changing the people's behavior. People use open fields about 500 meters from the village. They do not do it inside the village. The conclusion is that those defecating in the open don't want to do it too close to the village and cause problems for all. So, they are concerned about the well-being of the village. The problem is more prevalent in the early morning before sunrise and late evening after sunset. You will not see this problem during the day when there is sunlight. This is because someone defecating in the open will be noticed. The conclusion you derive from this is that there is some shame perceived with defecating in the open. You observe this behavior typically with adults, especially elderly persons. This behavior is not visible in school-going children. The conclusion you arrive at is that there may be a need to break old habits to prevent defecating in the open. You would have noticed that by answering these questions, a lot more information comes into the open. This helps us get a better solution to the problem. There are other tools available to find out basic causes and develop a solution. However, sometimes the is is not exercise itself may give you enough insights to identify some solutions. In this example, the solution could be shaming people when they go out in the morning. Nigrani committees are common in most villages now. They could encourage children to pressurize parents and grandparents not to defecate in the open. In this example, the solution could be shaming people when they go out in the morning. Nigrani committees are common in most villages now. They could encourage children to pressurize parents and grandparents not to defecate in the open. Many villages have used the concept of Vanar Sena. School children have been encouraged to pressurize adults to change their behaviors. In this unit, you have learned that the tool called is is not matrix is used to describe a problem completely and is is not matrix allows you to describe the problem in a more structured and detailed manner.